Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. So friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about very most important interview questions from the SQL servers. So this question is very important for fresher and as well as for the experienced candidate. Okay, so now let's get started. So first, let me open SQL Server Management Studio to perform the operations. So I have, I'm having latest version 18.4 of the SQL Server Management Studio. So let me connect it. Okay, so guys, I will use the uh, steps. So here I have divided this video in four steps. So you have to follow these steps. First, I need to create a database. So suppose I need to create a database. So I will use this query, create database. If you guys don't know how to create a database. So actually we can use this IDE to create UI. Okay, I'm not going to use this GUI. We can, uh, we can create from here new database, but I'm going to use query. Okay, so my database name will be SQL Tutorial DB guys you can see here there is no database with the name sql tutorial db okay so let me execute this query so guys database is created successfully now you have to use this database and before going to use this let me refresh this refresh and now you can see the database into the this list okay sql tutorial db okay now to use this database either you can select from here but i'm going to use by using the query so use database choose sql tutorial db so now you can see here this is updated so now in the second step what i have to do i need to create one table to perform the operations okay guys so i am going to use this table so this query i have created to save our time so guys i'm using this query to create our table student table okay so i'm here having four columns id name course and fee okay so let me execute this query to create our table so command completed successfully as you can see now you can see in this database we will have one table that is student table so now in the third step what i have to do is i need to insert some data into the database table so i have some uh, data here i have created okay to save our time so i have created these 10 queries okay so before going to insert this data let me execute this table to check we are having anything or not okay so as of now i haven't executed these queries so my database table is empty so now you can see there is nothing okay now let me execute this query so that we can have some data into the database table so now you can see one row is affected one row is affected so records are inserted into the table so now let me check execute now you can see here 10 records are inserted into the table okay in the fourth step what i have to do is i need to use cte okay um, to use cte first i need to find out the duplicate record from the this table to delete the duplicate record as you can see here vijay is duplicate here he is having mba mba fees is also same tom tom is also duplicate lucy is also duplicate here we are having lucy four records okay fees and course is also same peter is having two records okay guys so we can see here records are duplicates okay so what i have to do is i need to delete duplicate records so suppose bejai is duplicate tom is also duplicate lucy is also duplicate in lucy three records are extra peter one record tom is one record and bejai is also one record extra okay so we have to find out these records and delete these records okay to find out the record duplicate record we can use group by function or row number so here i am going to use row number function to find out the delete and also i need to use cte okay now i have written this query cte so by using cte i can delete the record i can find out the duplicate record and we can delete the record so write a query to delete duplicate records from the table so i am using this query so let me just create here put here guys i have written this query because save to save our time okay so here i am writing here with cte as select id i am selecting id name column course and fee and i am using here row number function over partition by name here i am matching the column these columns i am matching name course fee order by i am using here order by close name course and fee okay guys so i am using this and row num from student table okay so by using this we are finding the duplicate record and here by using this query what are we are doing we are doing we are deleting the record where row number is greater than one so let me execute this query 
now after executing this query what you can see here now five rows affected five rows affected means five rows are deleted now execute this query to check our database table so we will find unique records in this student table okay guys now you can see tom is only one Tom is only one because Tom is having two records because here fee is 25,000 and here fee is 2,000. So that's why this record is not duplicate. So guys here fees is 25,000 and here fees is 2,000. So that's why Tom is not duplicate. Okay, because we are matching these records by using three columns name, course and fee. Okay, so fees is different. So that's why this Tom, this Tom who is having ID 5 is not duplicate. Okay, Lucy is now only one and Peter is also now only one records. Okay guys, so this is all about the how to use CTE to delete the duplicate records from the SQL server table. Okay guys, so this is very important question for the interview purpose. So thanks for watching this video. Guys, please subscribe our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. This is my blog URL. You can check it out. Guys, if you have any doubt, you can ask me through comment. Please provide your feedback. Thanks.